Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Filmora 12 beta is out now and the stable version would be out somewhere around at the end of this month. This time Wondershare launched Filmora 12 with lots of new features and upgrades. In this video, I am going to take you through all the major upgrades and new features of Filmora 12 and how to use them. So without any further delay, let's start. When you open Filmora 12, you will see this type of interface which is quite organized as compared to Filmora 11. Now you can see all the windows or panel on your screen like you can see the media bin, preview screen, setting panel and timeline. This mode is best for editing because of the long setting panel. You can access the settings very easily, gives you a kind of control and saves your time. The best part is you can change the layout, just click on this button and you will see 6 layout option. When you click on organize, you will see that the media bin size has increased. Now you can organize your footage easily and see them clearly when you are editing. Now when you choose timeline layout option, you will get a bigger area for timeline. Now you can easily organize your timeline with more space or you can organize your all the layers very easily. Further, if you want to edit a short or reel in Filmora, just change the layout to a short video and now you have a bigger vertical preview player. Just change the project settings to portrait and drop your vertical video on a timeline. Now you can edit your shots easily. You can add text, apply effect, all you can see very clearly in this mode. The next mode is for those who don't want to use this feature. Just switch to this mode and you have a Filmora 11 interface in front of you. And the last one is dual option for dual monitor. Click on the toolbox option to access the keyboard shortcut. Now here you can set the shortcut according to your feasibility or you can choose from the given presets. Also when you click on effects and all these options you will see the well organized folder. Under recommendation you will see the trending option which effect is most trending and under new you will see the newly added effect and presets. Check out this organized option by yourself and if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section. Next we have a transfer center. In this you can upload your project and media directly to the cloud and edit your video anywhere with Filmora, either on a desktop, macbook or mobile app. It also supports the transfer of video clip from the Filmora mobile version to the desktop for further editing via filmora.io cloud service. One of the handiest feature to edit your video anywhere anytime. You have noticed in Filmora 11 keyframes only work on a limited parameters like scale, rotation and position. But now in Filmora 12 you can use keyframes on all parameters even you can control the color intensity with keyframes. Or even you can control the effects. Which gives you a kind of freedom where you edit your video without any foundation in Filmora 12. Just check out this feature and do let me know in comment section if you have any suggestion. Now in Filmora 12 you can create a free form shape mask using a draw mask feature. Under mask select the draw mask option and create a mask around the subject that easy to mask anything. Not only that, you can add a further mask by clicking on add mask option and you can even keyframe your mask and move things around with the subject you masked. One of the my best feature. In Filmora 12, you can create an adjustment layer. Main feature of this is that you can apply the same effect on a multiple layer using an adjustment layer. Effect applied on an adjustment layer will affect the layer below it. 
By this you can organize your timeline and save your time while editing your videos. The smart cutout tool allow you to create a mask or cutout around the object and subject quickly. Just drop your clip on a timeline. Under the video you will see AI tool option. Click on it and you will see a smart cutout option. On this option, click on start smart cutout. Here you will see brush, eraser, hand and zoom option and brush setting option. You can increase or decrease the brush size, add some feather, zoom in on your clip and start drawing over the subject. Even you can change the color of brush. Once you are done with the drawing, click on start smart cutout and it will automatically track the subject or object. Even you can invert the mask by using this button. Then simply click on save. In Filmora 12 you will get more royalty free music and sound effect along with new titles and tons of new effects. Just check out these new effects and sound effects and royalty free music by yourself. Download the Filmora 12 beta version from the link given in the description and if you have any suggestions please put them in the comment section. Also let me know which is your best feature in Filmora 12 and why. See you guys in my next video till then stay safe and enjoy Filmora 12 beta version.